You can jack it up across this frame. Once you get it up, well, if you're going to go under the vehicle, um, get your jack stands under there. Next, you're going to remove your lugs. It's easier to do if the tire still has some pressure on the ground, because otherwise the tire may spin. Pop that tire out. So what I've done is I've filled my tub. I had to put my tire in, and you're just going to spin your tire until you see air bubbles coming up, like right there. And you're just going to back out, and you can see right there is the location. So we'll just put our finger at that spot, and then we'll... And then just to make sure, put a little water, you can see it bubbling. Now if you have a slime tire plug now kit. what we've done is we have this tire, this is like a little spinning tool. our little patches, our little plugs, and we're going to feed them through the tool, and you can see there's a little hole here, so I just pushed it through and then pulled it the rest of the way with my needle nose. Um, they do give you rubber cement you can put on there. It's not necessary. It does help it slide a little easier, but I am out of rubber cement, so we're going to just give her a go right here. Mm -hmm. so. And then you can see it started to go. And it is a lot tighter without the rubber cement. And then we're gonna pull up one, two, three. And we'll cut that off. The tire, I filled it full. And so then there's that spot right there. We're just gonna dip it in. We're gonna look for air bubbles. And I don't see any, but then we're gonna continue. We're just going to go through the whole tire now because we don't want to put it back on and there actually be another leak. So we're just going to double check everywhere. Look on the sides, front, and the back. And then we're also going to check the treads here. Arrgh! <laughs>